if you're interested in playing some of your Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 games in augmented reality like this, or like this, then stick around as we're going to go through a quick guide on how to do it, it's really easy. But first, if you do like this video, I encourage you to check out my channel. I have some unique videos on there such as how to play emulators and light gun games on your Oculus Quest. I have game reviews and news videos checking out the latest updates and games coming to the Oculus Quest as well as full game playthroughs as well as lists of the best games and experiences you can get on the Oculus Quest. So if this sounds like the kind of content you'd be interested in, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. So big shout out to SideQuest user Chumbawamba who found this hack, I'll leave a link to his YouTube in the description below. So I start by setting my boundary to stationary. This means the boundary around me is going to be very close as you can see, which is exactly what I want. Once this is done, I go down into settings. And what I'm going to want to do is disable the guardian from the developer settings. Now in order to get access to these settings, I need to make a developer account. So if you don't see this developer option in your settings menu, then you may need to make a developer account. There are lots of guides to do this. I will include links to them in the description below if you want to check them out. But it's super simple. You just click on the link that I'll include in the description below. You log into your account and create a new organization. Now I created my developer account quite a while ago and since then I think they require you now to either verify it with a credit card or a phone number. Now I didn't have to do that but that might be an extra step that you need to carry out. And once that's done, jump into your Oculus phone app, make sure it's connected to your headset, go into more settings. You should see developer mode somewhere in that list, access that and then all you do is switch on developer mode and you might need to restart your headset for it to take effect. Then when you access your settings menu again, you should see this developer tab here and it has an option to turn off your guardian. So what I'm going to do now is with the developer settings open, I'm going to lean out of my guardian just enough so I get this half and half, this in between where I can see my environment, but also see the Oculus Quest screens. You might need to fiddle around a bit until you get the perfect balance. But when you think you do have the perfect combination, what you need to do is switch the guardian off then a dialog box will appear, you just select acknowledge and that's it, now you're in this kind of weird limbo between the Oculus Quest and your external environment. Now you don't have to do this inside the Oculus home environment, you can do it while you're inside whatever game you're playing, it's really whatever's easiest for you. And so now I'm going to select Beat Saber and this is Beat Saber in kind of like an augmented reality mode. So as you can see, I can see my external environment very well but I can also see the shapes coming to me on screen so I can hit them with my sabers. It actually didn't affect the gameplay in any way at all. I can still see everything quite clearly as well as see my external environment at the same time. Now what I'm doing here is adjusting this setting whilst in the game. So this can be a better way of doing it than doing it inside the Oculus home screen as I'm able to look at my sabers whilst I'm adjusting the Guardian view. So in this one, you can see that the game overlay image over my environment is a lot weaker when compared to this is a lot stronger. And how strong or weak the image is depends on how far I'm leaning out of the Guardian as I turn it off in the developer settings. The further I lean out, the weaker the image. Now I found Beat Saber to work quite well in this augmented reality mode, but not all games are suited to it. Rhythm and Bullets is another game that works quite well in augmented reality. This is an arcade action style game that you can find on App Lab right now. Another game that worked fantastically well was Space Lurpees. You can get this game from App Lab right now. You can also download a free demo from SciQuest. It's a really great game. It's a bit like Snake, but in virtual reality. So let's finish off this video by asking a question that we probably should have started with. That question is, why would we want to do this? Well, I think for most games, this probably wouldn't work well. But for those select games that it does work pretty good for, such as Beat Saber or Space Lurpees, if for whatever reason you wanted to be aware of your surrounding environment while you were playing the game, then this might be a viable option of doing that. Like I say, in some games like Beat Saber or Space Slurpees, I could see everything pretty much clearly on screen and I didn't feel like it was a massive distraction. But I think the main reason for me is just the novelty factor. It does look pretty cool in some games like Space Slurpees where you can see all these objects and worms floating around you and they appear to be in your play space. There's just something really cool about it. 
Now, will I be using this feature in future? Probably not. Like I said, it's a bit of a novelty and like any novelty, it kind of wears off after a while. But it is something I've never experienced before and I'm glad I tried it and I really wanted to share it with you guys. And if you do end up trying this, let me know in the comment section below which games you tried it with. Did they work in that augmented reality mode and why? I'll be really interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. So that's it from me, I hope you've enjoyed this video, something a little bit different. If you have liked the video, do remember to hit that thumbs up button and if you think I've deserved it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.